just a Kodak Black update. Thought y'all might want to know a couple of things that's going on with the brother. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN! Jack Frost! What's up, party people? I so... So, apparently, there is new Kodak Black news. Okay, so basically, Kodak Black is having a situation, as we all know, um, Kodak Black was arrested um, last year sometime, and he's been having a situation with the... Uh, the Bureau of Prisons, I believe that's what that I believe that's what they they call it. Where we have the BOP, the Bureau of Prisons. Anyway, so he's been having an issue with them due to um, just a ton of issues. He's been filing lawsuits. He's been asking for Trump to commute a sentence. They've been trying to do anything. So real quick, I'm gonna let y'all listen to the Instagram lawyer. Shout out to him. And then after that, I'm gonna come back with my commentary. Kodak Black update. I'm hearing that the main sniper has been moved by the Federal Bureau of Prisons from Big Sandy Federal Penitentiary to the detention center in Oklahoma City. Why? According to the BOP, they're doing it in anticipation of changing his permanently assigned penitentiary. Now the question becomes, are they going to move him to a new penitentiary to mess with him, or are they going to finally do the right thing? When he was moved from Florida to Big Sandy, his lawyers filed a lawsuit, and they filed a lawsuit on a couple grounds. One, there's illegal stuff happening at Big Sandy that messing with him. Two, under the First Step Act recently passed by Donald Trump, Kodak has to be at a penitentiary within 500 miles of Florida. Big Sandy's too far. And then three, he's not getting religiously accommodated. The main sniper identifies as Jewish, wants to see a rabbi, can't get a rabbi up in Big Sandy. So, will that lawsuit have the effect of getting BOP to do the right thing, or is BOP going to double down and try to screw Kodak by moving him to an even worse penitentiary? Remember, most people cannot afford the type of legal services Kodak Black can. If Kodak Black has to do all this just to get his basic rights not violated, imagine what the average prisoner is suffering. I right, so just give everybody a quick update or just a reminder of what Kodak Black is going through. There was a situation that had happened where what well, Kodak Black was in quite a few different situations. Uh, but the situation that had happened that I think immediately um, resulted in his arrest was he went to a I believe it was the Rolling Loud concert. I could be incorrect, but somebody put it down because he was also arrested at the Rolling Loud concert. I think that was his last arrest. If I'm incorrect about this, please correct me in the comment section. It, you don't got to call me and be, you don't got to curse me out when you correct me neither. You can just be like, yo, Jack, I think you missed this. Anyway, there was a situation at the Rolling Loud where he was found with some guns. Kodak Black also has a couple of other situations that's going on where he has to be, uh, go to court for. Anyway, so absent that, with that we're not discussing, we're going to be discussing exactly what's been happening to Kodak Black ever since he's actually been arrested. If you remember, there was a situation where it was said that um, he got into a fight with an inmate. The fight had, I'm not sure what the fight had in it. He went to the, he tried to go to the infirmary. He was asking them for help. They didn't want to give him help. Then after leaving the infirmary, he got into a fight with somebody. And when he got into the fight with that person and something happened with the police, he ended up almost pulling the police nutsack off. Crazy work. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, so ever since then, probably even before then, we don't know, but this is about the time that Kodak Black had started complaining about his treatment at the prisons. And might I also add, I do not think Kodak Black is ex is lying. I don't think I don't think he's saying anything that's factually incorrect. The only thing I have to say is when you're an individual who is uh, a, an affluent individual, you're a leader in your community, you are rich, 
you can basically do anything that you want to do. You know, you might have a drug habit or two. Getting locked up and going into prison, that's like a whole new world. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Like, it's one of those situations. So, when Kodak Black first got arrested, I always erred on the cop side of caution. Whereas, yeah, Kodak Black probably, you know, did a couple of things that helped some of the BS along. Anyway, at this point, oh, let me also add this. There was a complaint that Kodak Black had after the assault or whatever happened between him when he almost pulled the guards nuts off. At least that's what the that's what the BOP is saying happened. That's what the Bureau of Prisons down there is saying would happen. Um, Kodak is saying that the guard is basically lying and trying to get a payday. And other guards had told him this. So, anyway. Or exaggerating his injury. I guess that's a better way to put it. In order for him to be able to sue Kodak. Anyway, now Kodak Black has been moved. He had been moved previously. There's a problem with how Kodak Black was moved. Because they moved Kodak Black far away from his family. I think they moved him to, like, to Colorado or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, the, if you rewind back, you could hear the um, Instagram lawyer, lawyers for workers. He's going to tell you. Um, I do not know that guy's real name. So anybody that gets upset that I call him the Instagram lawyer. At least I don't... I, First of all, I think he should like the clout lawyer. I think that's a dope ass name, by the way. But I'm gonna call him the Instagram lawyer because I don't I don't know if he actually likes that term. So uh, if you rewind back to what he was saying, he actually says the the, the prisons in the in the states or whatever the case might be. So what's going on now is Kodak Black can't see his. Uh, for everybody that don't know, Kodak Black recognizes himself as Jewish. Um, I'm not sure if they're saying Hebrew Israelite or if he's just recognizing himself as Jewish, like, uh, you no, know, Jewish, Hasidic or something. So anyway, he's been trying to get a ch opportunity to see a rabbi at the prison that he's currently at. He doesn't, he can't see a rabbi or they can't get a rabbi there. I guess there's no rabbis in that area. They like, yo, Kodak, man, if you want a rabbi, you're going to have to fly one out from New York, New York City. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Anyway, so, um. Kodak's been trying to see a rabbi. He hasn't been able to see a rabbi, so he hasn't been able to practice his faith. So that's a, that's 100, that's definitely a problem. Um, the prisons are not allowed, as far as I know, to prevent you from practicing your faith. So he's been trying to get uh, transferred or you no know, somewhere that, that can accommodate him. But it seems like they, they're going to transfer him. But the question is, is they, are they going to be spiteful? Are they going to send him somewhere worse? Um, Kodak Black also has some lawsuits going against uh, the Bureau of Prisons because of the treatment that he's received. He's saying that he's being abused. And the main reason why I brought up or we're having this discussion or I decided to make this video was is because there are a lot of individuals, just like the um, Instagram lawyer said, lawyers for workers, there are a lot of individuals who do not have the money, do not have the visibility, do not have the influential power that a Kodak Black has, and they're going through some of the same things that Kodak Black is going through, and because they don't have resources, it's worse. Let's stop for one second. Do you remember when they showed the inside of those prisons when COVID was happening? They had people that was literally running in there, murdering each other. They had they had uh, fires going on in the prisons. They had the guards couldn't get control of it. And also, in addition to just the prisoners rioting, there were situations where the guards were abusing the prisoners themselves. They were starving prisoners. They had the COVID situation. Um, prisoners was getting COVID. And, and they weren't even removing them from their cells in all cases. Some cases, they would leave them in their cells where they can then give COVID to their cellmates or anybody else that's in the area. It was really, really bad. So I wanted to make this video because I want you to go into the comment section and we need to really have a discussion about how these prisons are treating our loved ones. And what do you guys think that we can do to help mitigate the problem, to help annihilate the problem, not mitigate it, annihilate it. This problem has to go away. Anyway, um, Donald Trump signed a law into effect. I know everybody hates Donald Trump, apparently, but Donald Trump signed a law into effect that said that you can't be more than, I believe, 500 miles from um, your home. I, I guess uh, this is signed to make it so that 
your loved ones have an opportunity to visit you every now and then. Real quick, when you have a person who is from New York and they ship you all the way to Colorado, you can forget about visitors. You're not having visitors. If you got a person that's from New Jersey and they ship you all the way to Louisiana, you can forget about visitors. Do you understand? That's way too far for people to just be flying out seeing you every weekend. So I want to know what y'all guys think about that particular um, change in, in the way that the BOP is ran and Department of Prisons is ran. And this is something that Trump did. I want y'all to leave it down in the comment sections. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Anyways, but just in general, I want everybody down there that fuck with Kodak, fuck with Sniper Gang. Could y'all please drop some well wishes down there for the brother? Who knows? He might actually see the video. You have to assume that um, individuals like him that can get access to a phone, he has money. He, and he probably goes and checks and see who's talking about him or whatever news, new news is out there about him. So he might see this video. So leave some well wishes down there for him, especially if you rock with him. Free Kodak. Um, also, Kodak stopped committing crimes or being around crimes that are being committed that you can then get blamed for. However you want to put it. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it?